Hi, this is Krista Joy with Special Needs for Special Kids, and I wanted to take a minute to walk you through this digital resource on spiders. This is the first digital resource that I've made for TPT, and I sent it out to a bunch of teachers to get some feedback. And so I hope, I'm hoping that we have kind of worked all of the um, bugs out and that it's ready to go. You'll see when you open this up is the very first slide of this file is a direction slide and you want to make sure that you follow um, these directions. I'm going to go over the first couple with you right now. Um, the first thing that's super important is that you make a copy of this original file that you purchased. So you always have a clean version to go back to because this is going to involve a lot of moving of pieces by your students and you're not going to want to have to move all those back. So to make a copy of the original, you're just going to go up here to the file button and just click make a copy and then you can name it whatever you want. So you will know to come back to it later. I'll just call this Krista's copy. And while this is loading, I will tell you that one um, thing that I learned from working with teachers is that there is a um, desire to want to do this activity in presentation mode to get rid of some of the stuff on the side and at the top and they're um, clicking up here and I can tell you if you do that you're not going to be able to move the pieces around in the activities which is the whole point of this um, digital type activity so you're going to have to do it in this mode um, but you can go up here to the view button and make this full screen and it will take away a little bit of the distraction that um, pieces that were there. So you can just use this as a Google slide document. You can put it into Google Classroom if you have that, but you do not need to do that. So when you are using this with your students, it's going to look like this. It's going to have the slides to the side um, and same thing if you're on the iPad, it looks almost exactly the same. So the first thing is it's gonna run through the PowerPoint on spiders. Now, with Google Slides, I, I can't record my voice very easily reading this. If you buy the bundle that has the um, PDF version and the digital version, then you will get a recorded PowerPoint show that you can show to your students separately and then jump on Google Slides to go through this. Otherwise, your students are gonna have to read this or you will have to read that to them. So this is the whole PowerPoint on spiders, and when you get to the end, starts the activities. Now the activities have several versions because I know you have lots of different learning levels. This first activity is a circle map, and it is an errorless version, so all of these answers are correct, and all students have to do is just move these images into the circle map to show different facts about spiders. The next circle map has some wrong answers mixed in, so they will have to be a little bit more careful about what they're putting in the circle map. We then go into some sorting activities. This first one um, sorts spiders versus animals, and these are photographs, obviously. And the nice thing I'll tell you is the way I made this is that this background template of the spider, this doesn't move. The only thing that moves are gonna be these pieces. And it doesn't, unfortunately, give you a lot of immediate like um, auditory feedback, whether your students are correct or not. Um, so it's, but they can leave it and then you can come and look and see how they have done. So they're obviously just gonna sort those into the correct column. The next um, example has the same thing, but I used picture symbols instead of photographs. And then I gave you one that has color coding. So for students that need even a little more support, then they, they can use this green to the green and red to the red, just to kind of help with that. Um, so there's that activity. Same idea, but this is spiders versus insects with real pictures, again, with some picture symbols, and again, with the color coding. We then have an activity where we're sorting um, things by number of legs. So we have eight legs, four legs, two legs, and zero legs. Um, this does not use photos, it uses symbols, but I did include this color-coded version as well. Next is the labeling activity of the spiders. So this is, um, obviously they're just gonna drag these into the correct square. 
um, for students that need more support. I made this activity so that they could have a little bit more help with that. Um, oops, I have to fix that. A, a little bit more help with that being able to see that um, piece going into the right color. Then you get the assessment. And again, the assessment piece does not move. Um, they are going to move these circles. So you will read this uh, question to them or they will read it to themselves. True or false spiders are a type of insect and they will just move the circle over to the answer that they feel is most correct. So that is it in a nutshell. You can run this exactly the same way on an iPad if you have the Google Slides app, which is free. Um, and if you have any issues or problems, you can jump on that Q&A under TPT, um, ask away, I will try and, and help you with that. But I think this is just gonna be a nice way to let our students go through even units that we've taught in the past and they want to review. So I hope that you enjoy this. I'm going to try and do some more of these digital units. And if you have any suggestions of units you'd like to see become digital or questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. You can, like I said, the Q&A under the TPT works great, or you can send me an email at specialneedsforspecialkids at gmail.com. So I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you soon.